everyone. Welcome again to another topic in Mathematics 10, where we'll talk about the measures of position, the quartile, decile, and percentile of ungrouped data. For the last time, I've only focused on the quartile for us to know about the basic skills. So pagkaalam na kasi natin yung quartile, yung decile at percentile, for sure, mamamaster na natin because we will have the same process. So what are the objectives for this video lesson? We're going to illustrate the measure of position, the three measures of position, and we're going to solve for it and interpret it. So let's start. Like what I've said to you, we have three measures of position. We have quartile, decile, and percentile. So para mas madali niyong maintindihan, gamitin natin siya ng tabular data. Okay? Para makita natin agad, ah, ito pala ang qualities ng quartile, ng decile, at saka ng percentile. At madali nating madistinguish kung ano ang unique qualities ng bawat isa. So una sa lahat, the equal parts. The number of equal parts in quartile is 4. Kaya nga yung keyword ay quart. Apat. Tapos yung decile, deci. Diba? Decimal by tenths. Kaya the equal parts ay 10. And then percentile. Ang keyword naman dito ay percent. Automatically, that is 100. Okay? The next one. Dahil na pag aralan na natin yung equal parts, so, di ba yung kabuuan natin, it's always 100%. Dahil sa quartile, ang equal parts ay 4. So, yung 100%, iti-divide natin by 4. Kaya, ang each part ay 25%. At sa decile naman, 100 divided by 10, magiging 10% on each part. At ang percentile, 100% divided by 100 equal parts. So, magkakaroon na lamang tayo ng 1%. Okay? Now, the score points. Ito yung dinatawag natin ilang measures of position. Sa quartile, katulad ng nabanggit ko, tatlo lang. Okay? Yun yung Q sub 1, Q sub 2, at Q sub 3. Sa decile naman, magkakaroon lang tayo ng 9, tapos sa percentile ay 99. Ano-ano po yung mga yun? Yung symbol ng quartile, yung tatlong score points ay Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and Q sub 3. Sa decile naman, mula D sub 1 hanggang D sub 9. At sa percentile, capital letter P, P sub 1 until the 99th percentile or the P sub 99. So, yan ang ibig sabihin ng mga score points. At ano ang formula? Sa quartile, na-introduce ko na ito na sa nakaraang video, the Q sub K is equal to K over 4 times the quantity N plus 1. What makes it as a quartile? Tingnan nyo yung denominator ng K. We have here 4. So, ibig sabihin dito, ito nagsasabi, itong denominator na to, kung anong classing measures of position. Dahil ito ang number of equal parts. Okay? So, pagka decile, si yung 4, magiging 10 na. Because in decile, we have 10 equal parts. At ang symbol na syempre, decile, starts with letter D. So, ang symbol ay capital D sub K. At ang percentile, so coming from 4 and 10, magiging 100, kasi 100 equal parts. At ang symbol ay P sub K. So with that tabular data, it is easy for us to remember the qualities of quartile, decile, and percentile. Okay, I hope that is very clear with you. Now let us recall again, we've started with quartiles. Diba yan isang buo, 100%. At ilan ulit ang equal parts? Tama. We have four equal parts, kaya naging 25% on each part. At yung mga lowest niyan, yung mga endpoints pala niyan, nagsastart tayo sa lowest score at saka sa highest score. At ito naman ang tinatawag nating mga score points. Q sub 1 is also known as lower quartile kasi ano ulit yun? Kabilang siya sa lower half. And then si upper quartile, yun yung Q sub 3 kasi po kabilang siya sa upper half. Okay? And then Q sub 2 remains the median kasi siya yung middlemost. Okay? Ngayon, if we're going to compare it on the deciles and percentiles, ganito ang itsura niya. So, let's start first with the decile. So, as you can notice here, at the bottom of 25%, we have here 10% uh, 
at sampu iyan. Yan lang nagre-represent ng decile. So, remember that that is our decile. So, let us have a um, label. So, the yellow part, that is the quartile. And then, the bottom part, that is the decile. Okay? So, as you can notice, we have here. So, yung nauna dito. So, this is our lowest score, right? You can, can you still remember yung kanina lang? And this one is our highest score. So, pagka pinag-usapan natin si Lisa Buwan or the first decile, we are talking about only 10%. Okay? And then, pagka pinag-aralan natin si D sub 2, so coming from the lowest score up to D sub 2, yun na ngayon ay 20%. Then, pagka D sub 3, 30%. Pagka D sub 4, 40%. 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, and the 90%. Okay, so I hope that is clear. So based from this figure, which among the quartiles and deciles are equal? Alin sa quartile at decile ang equal? Okay, tama po. Yun po ay Q sub 2 at saka D sub 5. Because both represents 50%. So, we could conclude that Q sub 2 is equal to D sub 5 because they're both 50%. So, kahit na anong ways, kung quartile naman ang gagamitin mong solution o kaya decile, okay lang. Parehas lang yan kasi we are talking about similar percentage. Okay? So, yan lang ang parehas sa quartile at saka sa decile. Okay po? Now, let's now proceed on the, uh, the last part of the measures of position, which is the percentile. So, dahil sa napag-aralan natin kanina, ang percentile ay 1% on each part. So, medyo mahirap yan, no? Kung uh, isa-isahin ko yung lagyan ng linya. So, gamitin na lang natin tong table na to para mamakita yung percentile. So, si D sub 1 ay 10%. Kaya, yun ay tinawag na P sub 10. Okay? The 10th percentile. Tapos, si D sub 2 naman, P sub 20, kasi 20%. And so on. Okay? So, yan yung mga equal sa decile at saka sa percentile. So, always remember na ito, si percentile ay nagsastart siya sa P sub 1 at nag -e end siya sa P sub 99. So, yan yung mga score points. So, dahil nakita na natin yung Q sub, uh, yung Q sub 2 at P sub 5 na 50%, may katumbas din siya sa percentile. Yun ay ang P sub 50. So, yung tatlong yan, they are all equal. Okay? Because it represents 50%. So, yan ang pagkakatulad ng quartile, decile, and percentile. Okay? So, I hope that is very clear with you. And, si Q sub 1, anong katumbas niya sa percentile? Ilang percent ulit si Q sub 1? Tama. That is 25%. So, ibig sabihin, pagdating sa percentile, magiging P sub 25 na siya. Okay? At nabanggit ko na to kanina na si Q sub 2 ay P sub 50. At si Q sub 3 naman, ilang percent ulit to? This one is 75%. Kaya sa percentile, yun ay P sub 75. Okay? So, again, that is the similarities and differences of quartile, decile, and percentile. So, let's have the example before on the previous video. The owner of a milk tea shop recorded the number of orders each hour in a day. The results were 14, 10, 12, 9, 17, 5, 8, 9, 14, 10, and 11. So, dati, tinanong ko sa inyo kung ano yung values ng quartiles. I would like to focus on the Q sub 2. Okay? Kasi para makita natin na talagang parehas lang ang Q sub 2, D sub 5, at saka ang P sub 50. So, always remember, parehas lang ng mga steps, arrange the data from lowest to highest. So, that is the key rule here. Okay? So, pagka-arrange mo na, proceed tayo. Balikan ulit natin na si Q sub 2 ay median. At ang nakuha nating sagot before ay si 10. Okay? Having the process of that part. Tama po. Na yung formula ay ginagamit lang natin para makuha natin ng position. 
So, ganun din ang process natin. Okay? So, yan po ang nakaraan. Puntahan natin ngayon ang sakalukuyan. Find the sub-5 or the fifth decile. Okay? So, tingnan natin kung parehas nga talaga ng value. Ulit po ulit. Arrange the data from lowest to highest. And then, as we go along, gagamitin na natin ang formula. D sub K na kasi decile is equal to K over 10 times N plus 1. So, ang value ng K natin dito ay 5 kasi D sub 5. At ang value ng N natin kung ilan ulit lahat po ito. Okay? So, ilan nga po ulit ito? So, that is 11. So, we have 11 data here. So, substitute nyo lang 5 over 10 times 11 plus 1. And you can now simplify the things that you can. So, the simplified form of 5 over 10 is 1 half and 11 plus 1 is 12. Then, ano ang kalahati ng 12? So, that is 6. So, parehas lang. We are talking about here the 6th position. Then, you count it off from the lowest number until you reach the 6th number. So, that is 10. So, parehas nga lang sa kanina. So, diba? Ito rin po ay tinatawag natin na Q sub 2. Okay? So, parehas lang din kung paano mo interpret So, ano bang ilang percent ba si D sub 5? We have here, di ba, 50%. So, 50% of the orders each hour in a day is lower than or equal to 10. So, parehas lang siya. Okay po. So, nagsastart tayo dun sa percentage. Then, proceeding to ano ba yung pinag-uusapan ng klaseng data. Tapos, if you're looking for um, on what is left, so it's lower than or equal to. And then, doon sa na-compute natin. Okay? So, let's proceed. Paano naman po pag P sub 50? Okay? So, ang value ng K natin dito ay, syempre, 50. Tapos, ganun ulit ang value ng N ay 11. Okay? So, having this, we will now have K will become 50 and then N will become 11. Ganun lang po ulit. Lowest term ninyo, magkakaroon tayo ulit ng 1 half times 12. That is also 6. So, 6th position. So, as you can notice, parehas lang talaga. Okay po. So, wag po kayong malilito. Iyan din ang value ng Q sub 2 at yan din ang value ng D sub 5. Okay? And then, we go to the same uh, kind of interpretation. Okay? So, I hope that's clear. Let's proceed to another example. We have here D sub 7. So, same data ulit tayo para hindi na nakakalito. So, dahil D sub 7 tayo, ano ang value ng K? That is 7. Kasi pang pitong decile at N ay 11 ulit. So, having the formula, K will become 7, then over 10 times 11 plus 1. Simplify nyo lang. 7 over 10, wala naman siyang lowest term, so as is siya. So, 7 over 10 times 12. At para mas madalian kayo sa pagsosolve, itong si 10 at saka si 12, yan ay my common factor, which is 2. So, 10 will become 5, and then 12 will become... 6. And then, you can just simply multiply 7 times 6, then divided by 5. So, makakuha tayo ng 8.4. Okay? So, paano yun? May decimal, ma'am. So, round off mo. Having this type of strategy. Okay? So, magiging 8. Big sabihin, 8 position. Bilang ka ulit mula sa pinaka lowest score, so, we will have 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. Big sabihin, ang sagot po ay 12. So, D sub 7 is equal to 12. So, if we're going to uh, interpret this, we will have 70% of the orders each hour in a day is lower than or equal to 12. Picture is obvious. So, from 5, at iting boundary mo, 
makikita mo agad na ah, lower than nga siya. Okay? Next one. P sub 30. So, P sub 30. Ibig sabihin, ang bali ng K natin ay 30. We're talking about the 30th percentile. 30% ng 100. Tapos, ang N natin ay 11. Having the same process, would you mind to try? Ano sa tingin niyo ang value ng P sub 30? Having this formula. Okay po. Maraming salamat po. So, ulit. 30 divided by 100 times 11 plus 1. So, simplify mo lang. I hope parehas tayo nang nanakukuhang sagot. So, ang lowest term ng 30 over 100 is 3 over 10 times 12. So, i-multiply mo lang. 3 times 12 divided by 10. Or, the other way around, 3 divided by 10 times 12. Okay? So, but don't forget to pause. Need sa lahat ng calculator. Pare-parehas yan. Okay, so 3 divided by 10 equals tapos times 12. Okay, so with that, we will have 3.6 or yung pinaka-rounded of I4. So ulit, big sabihin yan, fourth position bilang ulit, first, second, third, and then fourth. So the answer here is 9. So P sub 30 is equal to 9. Interpret ulit natin, P sub 30, big sabihin 30%. So, 30% of the orders, kabisada nyo na yan, each hour in a day is lower than or equal to 9. Okay? So, madali lang siya. So, pagka nalaman mo na yung kung ano yung proseso sa quartile, you can now do the decile and percentile as well. So, don't forget to change the denominators. Kasi yun ang nagsasabi kung ilang equal parts bang ating pinag uusapan. Okay? So, let's have the situation analysis. Mrs. Nicholas gave a long test among her students in statistics. David finished his test in 24 minutes. This time is in the fourth decile of the allotted time. What does it mean? So, let's say kayo yung si David. Tapos, natapos nyo lang yung exam within 24 minutes. Karaniwan sa isang math test ay 60 minutes. E natapos lang yan ng 24 minutes. Okay, so long test to. Okay, apos, ang keyword natin ay fourth decile. Big sabihin ng D sub 4, we are talking about 40%. 40% of the time. Okay, ngayon, what does it mean? Dalawang bagay po iyan. It is either David knows the subject. That's why he is on that speed. Okay. Or versus David is just making a guess on answering the test. Okay? So, kung i-analyze natin, tingnan natin. Uh, Siyempre, dapat balance eh. Hindi dapat tayo judgmental. So, kung kayo, reflect na lang tayo, if you were David, who are you? Ikaw ba yung David na alam na alam kung anong sagot kaya natapos na ng maaga within 24 minutes yung exam? Or, the other way around. Kasi gusto mo lang matapos yung exam, kaya nanguhula ka na lang. Okay? So, with that sense, uh, pag-aralan natin maigi kung ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng mga measures of position. Okay? So, I hope you choose the better one. Okay? With that, I hope everything is clear. Thank you so much and to God be all the glory.